Welcome, folks, to a uh, time lapse of the teardown of this year's display. Starting with the uh, mini trees, um, disconnecting most of the cables and winding up the cables per tree because they all come off individually. Um, just some cable ties that hold these down to the support uh, frame there. Once I've uh, taken all those off and packed them away in the shelving, um, I then took the, uh, the base frame away. I did take off the conduit uh, so that it uh, folds down a bit neater and can pack away easily. Um, the P5 panel tune to sign that I just packed away there has only got one cable going to it, just 240 volt power. Um, a couple of uh, core flute uh, presents which are covering the um, controller boxes on the front lawn there. They're a bit bulky to pack away, but at least they um, they do the job of protecting some of the gear. Uh, the candy canes, uh, they're just uh, cable tied to some um, shepherd's hooks. Uh, so quickly snip those off, wind up all the cables for them, and uh, they pack away nice and fairly flat in the roof. Um, started to disconnect the uh, main controllers, uh, enclosures, and 240 volt cabling. Um, and pack those away. They all stack nicely on, on shelving. Next was all the uh, Coro stars and the um, arches. Once again, just disconnecting each um, prop individually, winding the cable that connects into that prop so that I've always got the cables that are needed to power and send data to that prop uh, all together. So I don't have to sort of madly find which cable goes where. It's pretty much already attached to the prop that I need. I have a rope across the front that uh, prevents people from walking on the display. Got a bit hot there. So next day uh, was time to take down some more props. Starting with the um, core flute presents that I have underneath the mega tree. They're just held in by some um, tent pegs. Holding down little tabs that are on the back of them as well as some of the cabling. Uh, packing away another controller and power box there and then started to put away the uh, new matrix uh, columns for this year once again just wrapping up all the cabling that powers them for power injection etc onto the back so that uh, when I deploy them next year I'd pretty much just put them in place and the cables are ready to go for um, deployment uh, for next season uh, next was uh, the cabling uh, for the uh, spinners that were on the side fence. Um, then next, moving on to the Merry Christmas sign, which comes apart in three sections, so it's a lot easier to sort of uh, stack away and, and manage. Um, they are just cable tied to some uh, tomato plant stakes that are cut down. So just, uh, you can see those green uh, stakes on the lawn there, so... Um, that's pretty straightforward to set up and and pack away. Uh, the main controller and power supply getting packed up there, so a mess of cables still uh, to pack up. The stars at the, from the front door, once again, cables kept uh, in the same order and with the props, so that's easy to deploy straight away. The Coro reprojection singing faces are held in place with some 3M command hooks onto the glass. I will put them up a little higher next year because they're a little obscured by the Merry Christmas sign. Picking up some more cabling. Next was the mega tree, which is a bit of a pain in the butt to um, get out of the ground. So I didn't video that section in case it went horribly wrong. But good news is it survived and I managed to get it um, free from the hole pretty, uh, pretty well unscathed. Some more cabling, which was the um, controller box for the mega tree. Later that night, after the mega tree was down and the uh, temperatures had dropped, it was time to move on to the roof, which was pretty much all the remaining pieces left of the display. Starting with the uh, roof outlines, um, these are just uh, pieces of conduit that have um, Coro chroma trim attached to them with the pixels that are 
pushed in every second hole, so it's two inch spacing. Um, and those conduit pieces are then cable tied to some cable tie mounts that are already siliconed onto the roof tiles. So all I'm doing here is just disconnecting the cables, once again leaving the cables connected to the sections that lead in, um, taking off the cable ties and taking the all sections apart. Um, being a, a little bit rough and just chucking them off the edge of the, the roof onto the ground, trying to get them to land as flat as possible. Uh, I've been doing that for many years and I have had very minimal uh, failures as a result of doing that. So... Um, some of you might be gasping at that, but oh well, it works for me. Uh, but putting it all into those little sections means that it's easier to um, put away into storage. That all sits up in the uh, ceiling cavity of the man cave out the back. Then starting to take down the uh, the larger props. I'm uh, starting with the left um, large uh, star. Taking down, uh, it's easy enough to take down its small support. All is one piece. Uh, then started going along and taking the guttering uh, outlines down. And once again, still uh, attached a conduit and cable tied through the uh, overflow slots that I have in the, our guttering. Doesn't work for everyone because not everyone has those, but I do. So that's how I utilize those to uh, keep them all in place. Once again, all in sections, packs away nice and easily to all stack up in the roof. Keeping all the cabling as required, attached to the certain pieces. Then back up on, onto the roof to kick up a couple of tiles. You can kind of see those um, back brace uh, pieces of uh, bent aluminium, flat aluminium. They uh, attach to the back of the props and then angle down underneath the roof tiles and then are uh, uh, secured, bolted to the, um, the roof uh, timbers underneath. So they uh, they do not go anywhere. They're not lifting any tiles um, when they get uh, wind blown on them because they're all uh, held in place with bolts. So pretty sturdy. We saw some big winds this season at the start of December and um, everything survived up there. No problems at all. Don't even need power tools to do it. Just kick the tiles off. Um finger tightness to, to secure them down. Uh, the last controller was still on the roof there, so just lowered that down as well as its uh, Coro cover. Undid the last timber support, brought that down. Take off the wreath from the front door, and that's pretty much the end of the video.